So hey guys, um, <clears throat> sorry my voice, um, I'm wearing the same outfit, I'm uploading three videos today, so if you've seen all three of them, that's why. Um, I added a ring just to switch it up, I guess, a little bit, but um, yeah, I didn't do much to my hair or anything, and I'm actually in my night shirt, so don't mind that. Um, this was a request, and I forget his username, but I think his name's Matt something. I'll put it in the sidebar. He's amazing. I definitely love all of his videos, so go check him out. Um, he left a comment, I think it was my makeup bag or collection or something, I don't know, of products that I regret, regret buying. I can't even talk. Um, I've done a video of this prior, but not lately, so I'm going to redo it again. Um, I don't have much. Everything's in this little bag. Um, pretty much everything that I buy, I buy drugstore makeup. Um, I used to be into MAC, but I don't know. It's just more fun, I think, to buy drugstore things. I like to try new things, and I never finish um, anything. So um, why spend big money when, you know what I mean, I can try drugstore brands, and if I don't like it, I'm not out, like, 20 or $30 for eyeshadow or something. So um, just I just have a few things, really, and these things I really, truly hate and I wouldn't recommend to anybody to buy. Um, so I'm just going to go through it. Um, not too much. So let's do it. Um, the first thing, I love the packaging. It's amazing. Um, it looks like this. And it just puts me in mind of like a big diamond. It's it's so cute. So I bought a bun bunch of these, actually. They were on clearance. They're by Wet n Wild. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these. Of course, they were on clearance. And um, they smell really good. Like it opens, if I can open it. Oh, my God. Okay, so it opens like this, and it smells really, really good. Um, this one's like a peach mango. Um, smells really good, but it's a uh, lip gloss, and you put it on your lips, and it is so sticky. I buy um, chapstick. Um, you've probably seen them in all my favorite videos, the pink and white swirl ones for the, from the dollar store. And um, they're two for a dollar, and they're sticky, but they're not this sticky. These, I think, original price are like $4.00. And, um, I hate these. Seriously, it's like super glue in your lips shut. I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. Um, I do like the packaging, so I think I'm going to, like, um, just take all the product out and, like, maybe melt, like, a lipstick down and, um, use it for that and just throw it in my purse. Because I really do like the packaging. The product, never, it's just a waste of money. I don't even care if it's $2. That's a waste of money. Um, the next thing I thought I would really, really like... Um, this Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, and I got it actually in a two-pack. This is the primer. The primer's not bad. Um, I would repurchase the primer. It's actually almost gone. It's probably about down to here. So I would recommend the primer. The primer's not bad. Um, and the primer's like an orangish color, if you can tell. So the primer's not bad. I would buy the primer again, but this foundation, I've tried it with the primer. I've tried it without the primer because I wasn't sure really what, you know, it was that I didn't like. I wore this the first day that I bought it, and I was so excited um, to try it out. And um, we went over the property. That's where we're building, and thank God I didn't go in public. My husband looks at me, and he's like, you are look so cakey. What did you put on your face? And I said, shut up. I thought he was just playing with me. And I looked actually, like, while well, I was in, obviously, sunlight, and I looked in our truck mirror, and it was so disgusting on my face. I washed my face off um, as soon as I seen it. It was really, really gross. Um, so if you've tried this foundation and hated it, let me know. And if you use it and like it, let me know. I might have just got a bad one. I'm not sure. I do not like this. I know um, there's a couple reviews out there that people do not like it. So it just didn't work for me, and it literally looked like I had, like, dry pancake mix on my face. It was gross. Um, so the next thing was my fault um, that I bought. It's a Neutrogena Mineral Shears, and it's a blush. Um, I don't like shears, anything shiny, even um, eyeshadow. I like it all matte. The brush is horrible, like any other product normally that comes with a brush. Um, but I wouldn't use a brush. I have tried the product, um, and I would use it for probably eyeshadow, because the eyeshadow wouldn't be bad, but you put it on your face, and it's just like putting glitter on your face, and it, it makes it almost like a mirror effect. I don't know if my camera's going to pick up, but it's super shiny, and I thought it was just the packaging, but it's the product, so definitely, well, I'd recommend it if you like shiny shiny blush, I guess, but um, definitely I would not use it. The next thing, I love e.l.f. products. Um, love them. The only thing that I do not like for, from them that I've tried is the e.l.f. bronzer. And 
This is so chalky, and that's me touching it lightly. It is so chalky, and look at it. It's really, really chalky. Um, I definitely do not like this, um, and that's a shame because Elf does have really good products, especially for their price. Um, but definitely not the dollar bronzer. Now their um, Studio Line bronzers are amazing, but definitely not the dollar ones. Um, my next one I bought from NYX when they were having their 50-year um, sale or something. Um, I bought this blue mascara. I don't know why. Just wanted a blue mascara. And I got it, and this was brand new how I got it. I've never used this. Look at that brush. It's all dried out, and I can't even get it back into the container. It's all dried out. Um, I don't know if I got a bad one or if all their NYX um, mascaras are like this. So if you've purchased one and had no problems with it, definitely let me know. Um, I will never purchase another mascara for that from them just, just because of this bad one. I'm definitely going to throw that out, but I wanted to do a video actually on it before. So um, My next one is another mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I used to use this, I know, way back in high school, and I liked it. Um, I got this sent to me actually from a contest, and it clumps ridiculous. I've used this one time. Um, it was, you know, obviously brand new, so it's not, you know, a bad mascara. It's just so clumpy. Um, it's just unreal. So, And definitely clumps on your eyelashes when you put it on. So I would never repurchase that. Um, my next one is a Maybelline Ultra Liner, and it's waterproof, and this is, again, horrible. The brush is horrible. How it goes on is, like, almost like a sheer, and I just don't like it. I don't. I can't remember where I purchased this. Um, it might even been the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but definitely Maybelline Ultra Liner. I don't like. It's really clumpy. Um, the next thing that... Um, was my mistake buying. I bought this and obviously it's dark for my skin tone. I was going to use it as a contour and um, this would be amazing. I actually have two of them. This one's um, dark 2-3 so if you're this color let me know. I'll send it to you just to get rid of it. Um, this is amazing. I have this in my, my skin tone and it just makes your face really flawlessly. It's really really pretty and um, just sets your powder or your foundation really good. Um, it makes you like a matte, it's, it's matte powder, so it makes it just like an airbrush finish. Um, this I thought I could use as a contour. Um, I can't because it goes on sheer, like it blends in obviously to your skin tone. Um, so I can't use this as a contour. Again, this is my fault, my regret buy, that I bought two of them, and they don't work for what I bought them for. So definitely if you can use these, let me know, um, and I'll post them out to you. Those are the only things really that I really truly hate um, that I own makeup wise. Um, so, I mean, nothing really too big, but definitely this foundation is definitely, definitely, I would never buy this again. And I definitely do not like the e.l.f. bronzers. So, those are my regret buys. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely let me know. 